Sorry, ladies, it is official. Sean Lowe is no longer a bachelor after meeting 26 women. And after a number of awkward row ceremonies, the bachelor has found the love of his life, Catherine Giudici. And they're here with us right now, the lovebirds. Well, obviously, a lot of people watched the show play out, and you guys watched it after the fact. Were there moments watching it where you guys would be on the phone together, where, you know, it was difficult, where you would see Sean with other girls and say, I don't really like that, it's hard to watch? Well, it's not like, yay, fun, but it wasn't, it actually wasn't that bad. It was not too hard to watch, and I understood what he was going through and, and realizing the feelings he developed for the reasons he did. So that was nice to watch and look back on our dates and reflect back on, on the feelings that I had and why we were so great together. Who did you guys watch the show with? Could you, could you be together we, and no. watch it? Yeah, it, all, it, it worked out so that we were always separated. She was in Seattle, I was in Dallas or LA. And so normally I was watching it with close friends back home. Yeah, same, or with my mom. Because I feel like that's the hardest when you hear about other bachelors, they'll say, and I think this is why you guys work is you're so confident, Catherine, because you watch, you say, you know, this is just what you expect if you're going to sign up for The Bachelor. Exactly. Like, you have to know that that's going to happen. And I feel like there are a lot of girls that aren't as confident as you are. Is that something that you loved right away about oh, Catherine? Oh, she made my life so much easier because <laughs> yeah. she really no has drama. handled it extremely well. She never gave me a hard time. And she's, like you said, she's very confident yeah. in our relationship. Were there any moments watching it back that you regret or that you wish you had handled differently? I think, for the most part, I have no regrets because... I, I made the decisions that were best for me with the information that I had. You know, everyone gives me a hard time about keeping Tierra for so long. Of course, I didn't see the crazy side that America sees when they're watching it on TV. And a lot happens off camera, right? I mean, a lot of times you develop these relationships that we don't get to see. Well, it's not off camera. It's just they choose not to put it on TV. Um, but yeah, you're right. Like a, a 15 minute date on TV sometimes can take 12 hours to film. So we are spending a lot of time together that the people at home don't get to see. Were there moments that happened with you guys that we didn't get to see, that you'd wish that we had seen? There were a lot of moments. I mean, the one I think that probably pops into our head is after our very first one-on-one -on -one date, we drove back to our hotel, which was like an hour drive, and we were just hanging out and like singing to the songs that came on the radio. And like, that's, that was a really special time for us, and that's something that I think America would have liked to have seen. Yeah. At what point did you know Catherine? Because I feel like you came off very traditional and uh, not as forward as some of the other girls. Mm -hmm. And your relationship really built up over time. And it was really fun to grow with you guys. But at what point in your mind did you think, this is the man I know I'm going to marry? Well, again, I, the way that I took this whole experience was, what would I do in real life? Uh, my natural progression of a relationship, you'd start off as friends and seeing each other in, in public, and then you dive into a little bit more deeper of conversation. So that's how I handled it. And I've you know, said this before, in Canada, our first date, I got to see him kind of like frosted and like his eyebrows were gray. And it was cool because I saw him in old age. And that was kind of the starting point to, okay, I could see him, I could see him being you know, my husband.